Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video with me. I apologize if I've kept you waiting. Yes, I know both new gachas have been out for some time already, and the event is just well, technically a few hours away from ending. Um, but yes, I finally got my paycheck in, so that means it's time to pull gachas because. Well, it's, it's always good if you can actually afford to purchase the discounted singing storm packs, which is what exactly I did. So, just a few hours before the discounted packs, as you can see on this banner right here, um, disappear. Well, there will be another round because the discounted pack stone is actually for the month of August. Um, so, definitely each time they hold a discounted pack sale, there will definitely be two rounds. Uh, when it comes for uh, when it comes down to anniversary events such like the one we are about to encounter which is the third year of in Uta Macross so if you guys have been playing Uta Macross for three years just like me uh, give me a digital high five in the, the comments down below you know and hit that like button and do all the wonderful stuff that you usually do for all, any other YouTube out there so anyway guys let's get down to the nitty gritty of the, the uh, gacha pulls break down the episode plates and see which one is actually worth while um, to pull because we already got the information for august events if you guys have not updated yourself um, the news is on my facebook page links to the in the description down below as always you guys know how to catch up on utama cross information with me by now hopefully you guys do <laughs> so yeah all information can be found on my youtube facebook page uh, once again, link, links in the description down below. So, alright, um, with the known fact that, you know, next month's gonna be a 2 7 star plate month, uh, I would like to keep my singing stones, uh, well, as much as possible for those two gachas, because it's gonna be very painful, technically. Um, it's always best to have both 7 star or 6 star versions of those episode plates um, available for all events throughout the month because you definitely need that bonus percentage boost in terms of score or even for points collecting when it comes to claiming rewards and that other kind of stuff. You guys know the drill. You guys have been playing with 7 star episode plates for technically uh, half a year now. So, um, or rather a year in fact, because it was introduced in last, the, the second anniversary of Utama Cross. Huh, time flies. So anyway guys, um, let's take a look at Basara's gacha. Um, technically you can unlock Basara's costume via the free episode plates through the current event. If you've been working hard, I hope you have. Uh, if you guys want to know how to handle the D.Va event, I do have a Uta Macross tutorial already uploaded um, a few days ago. So yeah, go catch up on that video if you want to know exactly the nitty gritties on how the event works. That kind of stuff. So yeah, um, 3,895 total score, almost hitting the 3,900 range. That's pretty good. Uh, really focusing on soul and voice so I guess with that you can get, uh, technically hint yourself towards what kind of setup you should have for whichever diva you're focusing on you know just have episode picks that really focus on soul and voice or even costumes that boost soul and voice in stats that kind of thing all right center skill soul up so unit soul is boosted by 90% up the best percentage you can probably get for a single boost um, from a center skill that's fantastic so pay attention to who else can use this episode plate because like i've mentioned in my tutorial video for the diva event you know episode plates that can be used on other divas are now very crucial when it comes to pulling gachas so if any of the four divas featured on this episode plate are your husband though and waifu um, definitely might want to consider pulling this plate. So let's move along. Alright, active skill, 5 seconds, you get that 70% boost in score. So not the best high score achieving active skill. Definitely the default 100% in the past is still better. 
but seems like we are getting a lot of these kind of episode plates recently where they just give you 70%. Alright, that means that the life skill is actually the main important thing. Alright, score damage improvement. Uh oh. <laughs> so, um, it's one of these plates again. I mean, it comes with a very good total score, so which is pretty fantastic, but the life skill, however, it does nothing on its own. Um, it needs to, well, work together with another episode plate that has score and damage as its regular ability. So this episode plate is just gonna boost that, um, or rather all the other episode plates that has score and damage equipped um, during play. So if you have like, I guess the total amount of episode plates you can have in a setup is 9. So if you have one of this there and the other 8 are all score and damage, whoo, you are going to get a hell out of high score. So, um, yeah, so let's take a look at the last page and see whether this episode plate comes with a special note attached to it. If it does, it's going to be the first of its kind. And sadly to say, no, it retains the trend of not having any special episode or rather special notes attached to it, uh, which is kind of a bummer. We're we'll look, we'll look, still looking forward to like breakthrough when it comes to this kind of episode plates. Just like our 7 stars, when will we get a 7 star with a special note? Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, um, like I said, these kind of episode plates are not exactly essential, but it's always good to have one copy around, especially for each series type. So, um, voice, charm, or not, rather not the stats, but more like, um, I guess, soul series or blue series. Then you got your love series, then you got your yellow series, you know, the, the three colors, basic three colors. So, um, for that, I definitely go with a template discounted pool for Basara just to get the additional costume points to unlock his costume because I'm already like um, at least a more than halfway through the requested um, 1200 score required to unlock his costume. So yeah, alright, before we pull his gacha, let's break down... Oh! Oh yeah, um, Cheryl Gnome's <laughs> gacha. I was wondering where the other gacha is. So Cheryl Gnome is the other gacha. Cheryl came after Basara. So we're going to take a look at Cheryl's episode plate to see how good it fares. Oh, looking at the total score, it's actually um, somewhat close to Basara. Lacking a bit of power, but that's okay. Um, well spread stats all around. Ooh. And pay attention to who else can use this episode plate, you know, aside from Cheryl, of course. So, center skill, total, or rather units, total is boosted by 30% up. Not as fantastic as Basara, so I guess Basara has the option to play as a center position episode plate if you don't have anything better. But I'm sure you guys do, but you know, considering that his episode's plate total score is definitely way better than any of the older episode plates that has like the 100% boost in high score. But if you guys got 7 star plates, why would you ever need to use it as a center position? <laughs> so yeah, okay, let's move along. Um, active skill, oh, sim same as Basara's episode plates. So, life skill, mm, mode, score up. So during the Utahime or rather the Cho Utahime mode phase, uh, of course, if you get um, your notes tapped at grade or below, uh, basically it gives you that 110 boost in score. So rather than you totally losing out on your points for that particular tap because you failed to do a perfect or maybe excellent, you know. So another one of these episode plates that is nice to have around but not definitely a must. But alright. As usual, let's check out the last page to see whether the episode plate breaks um, the episode plate breaks its trend and includes a special note attached to it. So just like Basara, sadly to say, nope. So if you guys, like I said, um, don't have any episode plates just like these um, from the same series, Basara and Cheryl's are both from the blue series. So if you guys don't have episode plates of this series, um, with skills like these, it's definitely nice to have them around. For Cheryl, however, sadly to say, her costume is locked behind this gacha. So you have no choice but to only <laughs> pull this gacha to unlock Cheryl's 
costume. So unlike Basara, you know, at least Basara's costume is unlockable via event, which you can later on fully unlock maybe with episode orbs. So yes, the way to go here is definitely Shadow Gnome's Gacha if you're just a free-to-play player and you have a hard time deciding where to toss your Singing Stones to. So for me, um, I'm somewhat a paid player but I'm not a whaler, so I have the option to pull both. But still, for me, I would still go with just the discounted template pool because, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I like to keep as much Singing Stones as possible for the upcoming 2-7 Star Gachas. <sighs> Anyways, let's do this guys! I'm gonna pull 10 plates from each gacha and that's it. So hopefully the luck has been good. Or rather returning to me because the last few pulls has been horrendous. Oh boy. Okay. Oh! We are getting decent Valkyrie animations so that's not too bad. One wave box on the first plate. Oh! Rainbow! But just one? That's kind of sad. Will one of the normal boxes evolve? But, hmm, that can happen, but pretty rare. Okay, moving along all through all the normal boxes. Alright, here we go. So, no evolution. Oh! Dang! And to only get it <laughs> in the last day of the event? Uh, that's the problem when you don't have enough singing stones. If you guys are wondering why did I not do this video earlier, well, I technically used up my um, singing stones that I had on hand for this gacha on Reina's birthday gacha. Uh, you guys can check it out later on, I guess, when I finally upload my compound best gacha pools um, of recent dates. So. You can see my pools there for both Reina and Kaname's birthday gacha. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty exciting stuff, um, I can say. So, ooh, pretty nice that I got Basara's episode played. So, that definitely lets me unlock his costume. We can do that later. Um, but Cheryl, however, I'm not too sure. Does Basara drain all my luck? I don't know. Hopefully it continues on. Okay, let's do this. Alright, another decent Valkyrie animation. So, definitely not keeping my hopes up. Uh oh. Okay, we do have one red box. The luck is really riding on thin here. Hopefully that red box might evolve. I don't know. Or at least give me at least a brand new plate that comes with Cheryl's costume points. I'll be more than happy. Okay, I think this is an old plate. Oh, bummer, they're all old plates. Oh no. <laughs> well, at least it evolved to its 5 star form. So, uh, I don't know. Should I go for another one? I would like to keep more stones for the 7 star gachas though. Oh, this is just horrible. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go for one last pull. And that's it. Even even if I don't get any costume points for Cheryl's costume, I, I'm just gonna be satisfied with it and move on. Because I think um, the 7 star plates are definitely more important than this costume. Unless the costume gets like a... Kawawa power up soon which I don't think will happen <laughs> so yeah let's move along with just one last pull and that's it oh we get some loading very quick load okay hopefully that's a good sign all right another decent Valkyrie animation one red box on the first blink, two red boxes, so there's still some what of a high hope, I hope. Oh no, the red box appearing in the beginning, that's not too good. Okay. Hopefully the second red box. Oh! Oh no, they're all old plates. Oh this is horrible. Oh 
Okay. Oh. Whoa! The normal box evolved! Oh! <laughs> Shoot! I got both episode plates! Wow! That's really a shocker! Okay. Oh, there we go. So, technically, I can kind of rush through this event now. You know, if I have the time. Uh, oh well, I guess it's time to use up more skip tickets. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this another episode of Gacha videos on Ultra May Cross. Uh, let me guys know your pools in the comments down below. As always, what do you guys think of the episode plates? Uh, all, all, all that good stuff. Like the video if you enjoyed that surprise normal box evolution. Holy crap. <laughs> and thank you guys as always. If you guys watch through all the way to the end, you guys are awesome. And of course, subscribe and all the good stuff uh, normally you would do for any other YouTuber out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye!